What's interesting is if you watched the uh, 6.30 Eastern feed of uh, World News tonight last night, you saw a lot of jump cuts. I mean, flip, flip, flip. you could tell that that interview was heavily edited. Why? And, and, for time. Uh, well, and for, for time, context. But was it edited as far as the order of the questions, too? I'm under the impression that some of the questions that uh, appeared out of order. All right. Here, here's how I feel about this whole thing. When we start getting into every possible word and phrase and the intonation of how she said things, let me just say that the first impression of these issues is what sticks, fortunately or unfortunately, in voters' minds. I've had many conversations with people in the last few days who saw the blogs on this issue first, yeah. and that's what they still believe now, because it takes too, it takes too much time for busy lives right. of Americans to really sit down and see every interview and every statement and every parsing right. of every word. It, she, Unfortunately, a lot of people are going to believe what they first right. hear about a lot of subjects. And if you look at the left-leaning blogs, they say she, she blew it and she stunk up the place. But if you read the mainstream media this morning, uh, the Daily News says she was composed and forceful. The Chicago Sun-Times says steely and supremely confident. Politico.com said she held her own. Even the New York Times had positive things to say Look, about her performance. And that was just ABC. day one of a two-day interview of the first major interview. And I'm sure she's going to be on our couch shortly, I imagine, in the next six weeks. Right. So every, she's just gonna, if she can get through the first day unscathed, then you've got to figure that logically she'll, uh, she'll just continue to get better. The other thing is she talked about global warming, talked about Iran, talked about Israel, talked about uh, meeting foreign leaders, talked about going to Kuwait, talked about her family. All yeah. that's going to be coming her And when you talk way. about global warming, uh, Charlie disagrees. Gibson was, was kind of browbeating her. Well, you've got to admit that it's caused by humans, and we don't know that it's caused by humans. But what I thought was interesting was that she differs in some of her opinions from John McCain. Yeah. See, I find that fascinating, and that's part of the interview that's getting lost in the shuffle this morning, but I think that that speaks to the fact, especially as a woman, that she has her own opinions, and that, yeah, we, we disagree, but, you know, we're still working out some of these well, issues. Well, considering that uh, John McCain was go leaning towards Joe Lieberman for a while, yeah. I don't think he <laughs> minds when a number two disagrees with him on a few issues. Yeah. Well, we just, uh, just a moment ago, we played you uh, that particular clip from what uh, Sarah Palin had said in her church. And as it turns out, she actually uh, went to the pastor of another church for a little advice. I'm talking about Pastor Rick Warren. I, I found this the most fascinating tidbit yesterday of all the things that come on our blackberries because uh, Rick Warren I don't even think was ever going to tell anyone that Sarah Palin had called him on the phone for advice but he was doing a radio interview and the interviewer said well what would you say to her if she called and he said well actually she did call <laughs> and and I found I found that very interesting because she asked for specific Bible verses about how to deal with criticism and how to keep your confidence sure. up and to me that's a that's a real question to go to somebody like Rick Warren, and he said that he would pray for her. I think is that what he said? Well, it's, he, he gave her, her, yeah, well, gave her helps. some ideas, he, and it kind of lifts the veil over. We've seen all the attacks from the left on her. Are they taking a toll? Well, maybe. Uh, obviously, if she's asking for Bible passages on how to make her feel better and look for solace in something, mm -hmm. she's looking for a, a way right. to sort it all out. All right, uh, coming up straight ahead now. Uh, let's sort this out. Some history book distorts the truth, giving a liberal way of left leaning, uh, left leaning account instead of what really happened in our past, in our history. Find out exactly which ones are the worst offenders. Yeah.